A DOL, direct online starter, is a type of motor control used to start and stop three-phase induction motors. It connects the motor directly to the power supply, allowing a simple, straightforward operation. When activated, it applies full voltage to the motor, providing the maximum torque for starting. DOS starters are typically used for smaller motors, usually up to about 5 to 10 horsepower. Due to their high current, they include safety features like overload protection to prevent the motor damage. First of all, we will see how to do the wiring for the DOL starter. Let's open the DOL starter panel and see what's inside. We have a main 3-pole breaker and a single pole breaker for the control circuit. Next, we have a motor protector breaker and contactor to provide electrical power to the motor leads. Motor protector breaker is used here to protect the motor in case of overloading or overcurrent. In the case of overloading or overcurrent, this motor protector trips and cut down the electrical power being supplied to the motor. First of all, we will connect the incoming three-phase power wires at the downside of the terminals of the three-phase main breaker. Next, from the top terminals of this three-phase breaker wires will go to the incoming terminals of the motor protector. From the output terminals of the motor protector breaker, the wires will go to the input side of the contactor. From the output terminals of the contactor, the three-phase power wires will go to the motor terminal box and there these wires will be connected to the motor winding terminals. Next, we have to do the control wiring of this DOL circuit. So we will connect the incoming neutral wire to the A2 terminal of the contactor. A2 is terminal of the contactor coil. From the output of the main breaker, we will take a phase and connect it to the single pole control breaker. From the other end of this single pole breaker, we will connect a wire to the normal close 22 number terminal of the motor protector breaker. Next from the other normal close contact 21, we will connect a wire to the one end of the start terminal. Now, if this motor protector breaker trips, this normal close contact opens up and this will cut the power being supplied to the control circuit. Next, from the one end of the stop switch, we will connect a wire to the one end of the start switch. From the other end of start switch, we will connect a wire to the A1 terminal of the contactor. Now, if we keep press the start push button, it will turn on the contactor as long as the start push button is pressed. Now we have to make this contactor to stay on, even if we release the start push button. For this, we will connect a wire from the top terminal of the start push button to the normal open auxiliary contact of the contactor. From the other end of this normal open auxiliary contactor, we will connect a jumper wire to the A1 terminal of the coil. Now if we press the green push button, this contactor will turn on and this normal open contact will get closed and current will also travel from this contact to the A1 terminal of the coil. This will latch on the contactor. Now even we release the start push button, the contactor will stay on. The only way to turn off this contactor now is to press the start push button once or the motor protector breaker trips in the event of the overcurrent. Now the wiring is completed, we will test the circuit. As you can see that if you press the start push button, the contactor gets latched down and the motor starts to run. Now if you press the start push button, the contactor gets turned off and motor stops. So that's the end of the today's tutorial. Please do share, like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. Till next time, take care. Goodbye.